There's actually a guy um, from the black community information that wanted us to change the name and he was mad at me because I wouldn't do it because he said Governor Dudley had slaves. But to me, Dudley, that's not what Dudley means to me. You know, I grew up here in Roxbury. I've lived here 66 years. You know, Dudley is like the Harlem of Boston, right? I mean, it's the heart and soul and, you know, cultural compass. This is where we used to meet after school. This is where I used to go shopping with my mother. This is where we used to go. The, there used to be five movie theaters down here. Born and raised in the, in the Dudley area, I've been involved with a lot of the changes in that neighborhood. Um, as part of the Dudley Street Neighborhood Initiative, we built a lot of affordable housing. We built a lot of green space, open space, parks. Dudley used to be uh, really drug infested, really heavy gang orientated. And gradually, uh, it's been changing for the better. A lot of changes where you just can't believe. It's like, oh, this is not the same area that it used to be. We sort of lost that like local ownership, and I think that that's something that we need to really work at getting back. Even though this is supposed to be the African American shopping district, I have almost everything except African Americans in business down here. On Washington Street, there were so many stores. It's nothing like it used to be. We had about 20 shoe stores, grocery stores, um, there used to be meat markets. At one point, Dudley was the second most important retail location in the city. After downtown, most of the retail business was done in Dudley Square. And I think we can get it back to that. It impacted my business so far it's in a positive way. We get to reach out to more people from different genres and different areas of Boston who have just come in to be introduced to Dudley. A lot of people don't know the history of the area. You should know your history. Well, I'm from the 70s when we had all our revolutionaries and we, we believe if you don't know your history, you're bound to repeat it. It almost seemed like we didn't learn the lessons of the South End and how the South End completely whitewashed and like moved out all of its colored people. When you push people that been living here out of their community, it's wrong. Because as Dudley improves, the, 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 the cost of living in Dudley, in the Roxbury neighborhood, will, be, will continue to rise, right? And so how do we um, maintain a stock of affordable housing? You know, I don't know what we have to do to, um, to stop the gentrification and, you know, to stop the displacement of poor people and people of color from this neighborhood, but we can only do it if we come together. When we started planning for Dudley, we wanted to celebrate the cultures of the area, the art, the culture, the music. Dudley has always been a spot um, where everyone could come, um, and I think we, you know, we want to continue that, um, and we want and we want Dudley to evolve authentically. A future of Dudley to see the small businesses that, like myself, flourish and uh, stay around for a long while and impact the community in a positive way.